Welcome to another Pixel Game Maker tutorial. Today we are going to show how to change the highlight color of the Show Choices plugin. And so with that said, let's get started. So first we need to make sure that the Show Choices plugin is installed and that you have an image associated with it. Make sure that this is not set. And when you have that, you can, in your objects, you can now use the Show Choice runtime action. So it looks something like this. I do have a video on how to use it and install it. So if you're more interested in that, you can click on the link above. This is just gonna purely go over how to change the highlight color. So you can see that I have choice one, choice two, choice three. And so when we play test and I bring it up here, you can see that we get the choices and I have selected the middle option or it's, I think it's called black. Let me see real quick. Yeah, it's called black. If I chose white frame, it would actually give us the white frame that's associated with the, the image. But you can see that we have this kind of teal green color cursor as it's scrolling down. And we don't have any options in the runtime action to change that. You can see there's no option right here to change that. And so how we can change that is by going into the plugin. And in order to do that, we're gonna close out. We're gonna to go to file, open project folder. We're gonna to go to the plugins folder here. And then here is where you're gonna get a list. You notice that they're numbered. And whenever you add any kind of a resource, whether it's an image, a sound effect or anything, it's going to number it so that the system can quick access or it's it's all associated with the data. It, it knows the number. And so it's not gonna go based off the name. So you will have to do a little bit of finding here. And so let's just click on number four and see if that's it. It's gonna open up Microsoft Visual Code, which is what I use when I'm doing PGM stuff. I find it really nice to have this little uh, sidebar here where I can kind of see at a glance the code. And then you got some search functions I'll show you here in a minute. But let's see here. So this is right here, show choices. All right, so this is the one that we wanna be in. And now I can close this folder and we're actually gonna expand this one out and I'm gonna hit control plus to bring it in a little bit. Now, most of these kind of code viewers, you can press control F and it's gonna bring you up a little search here. And simply all you have to type is color and you hit enter. And it's gonna take you to this first one right here and this is going to be the color that in numbers that we're used to, as far as like filling out in the animations tab and stuff like this, the RGBA. And this is where we can fill in our stuff. So right now the till is tw uh, 255 on the green, 255 on the blue, and then it's 128 on the alpha. So that's why it's a little bit invisible. So if we simply add 255 to the red and we save it, Control S or save like that. And now if we go to play test and we bring up the choices, we can see that now we have a white and you can do all sorts of things. You can change the uh, alpha. Let's do alpha to 255 as well. Control S, go back to our game. And now it's gonna be <laughs> solid, but it is gonna be fading in and out. So you'll get that, that uh, option as well. And so yeah, hopefully that helps. I know that's one of the, the bigger issues with this plugin is you might not want that, that teal color might not fit in. So that is one easy way to do it by opening up the plugin, searching color, and then changing the color right in this area. And so yeah, hopefully that helps. Any questions, comment below, Steam Forms, Discord, we'll get you figured out. That said, I'll see you at the next video.